a lot of teeth. One look around the office of Mark the Shark and you know he's the real deal. Mark is one of the best in the business. So I went aboard his Striker 1 to go monster fishing. And since I was in Miami, I brought Marlin's left fielder Logan Morrison along for the ride. That's right, Marlin fishing with the Marlin. While Mark is upstairs steering the boat, Ryan gives us some expert fishing advice. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go out and try to catch some live bait. Every morning we like to supplement our supply with try to get bigger, fresher, different different species of live baits. We're going to use these little little rigs here. They're called sabiki rigs. Just has a little tiny feather on them. Okay. We're going to drop these down and try to catch a bunch of these little bait fish. Okay. Once we get our live baits, we're going to be fishing light tackle. We're fishing 20 pound test line. Tiny hooks, we're trying, but we're trying to catch big fish. If you use light line, you get a lot more bites here in South Florida. How do you guys choose the location for the day? There's no real location that you fish in Miami. It's all conditions. You're looking for clean water. You're looking for a specific type of current. Usually when I go fishing, it's Friday night <laughs> at Live. <laughs> yeah. Saturday night. At the Tiki Bar. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> hopefully we're more successful. Yeah. I like him already. <laughs> Logan. Always a smart ass, which is why he's one of the most followed baseball players on Twitter. Get ready. <laughs> so first, we catch our live bait. Once we have a good supply, we can head out to sea. Outriggers out. Going offshore. And why not enjoy the ride as we sail past beautiful Miami? Soon, it starts to get a little rough. That's where we're going, right out to that blue water right there. That's the Gulf Stream. That's where all the big fish live. Gulf Stream to highway. All the fish come through north to south. It's about maybe a mile and a half offshore of Miami Beach. It's a little choppy. Billfish like a little, little chop on the water. So stand by and we'll see what we catch. Motors off. The rods are set out with our live bait. Now, we just need a bite. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, right there. Big fish, big fish, right there. Oh, yeah! Got him on here, got him on! It's a sailfish, a big one, almost 100 pounds. And reeling him in is giving me a good workout. Hang on, big fish here, big fish. Whoa! Okay, so it's not a marlin, but a sailfish is still a member of the billfish family. Right, now, release, it's release. time to get the real Marlin to go. That's beautiful, beautiful! Wow, there we go, he's jumping, he's jumping, there we go! Big fish here, let's go! Oh! Getting him out, we're getting him now. Yeah, we got him on, a monster sailfish. Oh, good, good, Ryan, good, good. Get it, Ryan, get it! That's a monster fish, man. Ooh. That thing is huge, that fish. We're gonna hold him up, take some pictures. Success. A monster fish and a monster day. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful. That's it, baby. We got the trophy for the day. Let's go home. For The Daily, I'm Jen Sturger.